Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Final Fantasy. So today, where we left off was we just got out of those like m like uh, marsh caves, I think, or mash caves. And right now, I actually loaded back to where I was, back to this castle. Um, primarily because I was very weak and I didn't want to wipe. So I didn't want to come back here before getting wiped. So I was just seeing if I, anything can change from here. There must be a concoction. Okay, so we did get a shard, but I guess it's nothing important, right? Given that I'm not sure if there's like a section here for key items. There we go. So we got a crystal. I transparent orb of crystal loot. Out of curiosity, just want to check one thing. I don't know if this game requires you to like. So the loot does nothing. Okay. Anyway, sorry. So. Let's proceed here. So we need to get out of here. And if my initial reaction is to, because we were here, but I'm sure there's something else over here. So let's, oops. Actually, maybe it's a sign that I should get some other equipment before leaving. Um, I did purchase a few things actually. So never mind. let's take it or leave here. I forgot that if I get too close to the town, I'll go back to, back in there by accident um i will encounter some fights here and go through the motions to make sure i am leveled well because i'm not sure how else my group is like i take a lot of hits from my other guys which can be quite annoying uh, they miss quite a bit here but like i wish there was a spell and there probably is that you know that your tank will take most of the hits like i don't know some sort of trigger like most tanks would be taking the hits right so we'll see that was a quick fight though. I did take some hits early on, but we'll see. I just want to go through here actually and see if I can actually... No, I can't even go through there. So my next bet is actually to check if I can go... Let's go back here actually. Maybe something occurred because we did that little... Um, egg, like that little thing over there on the left hand side. So I'm not sure where to go. Um, like most Final Fantasy games, the I guess the older ones, they don't tell you where to go, so I'm not too ashamed to know where to be at the moment, but uh, luckily our guys are pretty strong right now so that they won't take too much hits uh, to die. Actually, I shouldn't have quick here because I do have a spell, Fire uh, that will take all of them. But unfortunately, I went too fast that they uh, attacked prior to me. I wish that when I press Q, which is the sped up, that only just speeds it up and not immediately like engages. I don't know how it works with it, like. So for example, I wish like if I press Q, like it speeds up, but doesn't necessarily mean that everyone inputted their attack moves. And then thus, you know, now I'm going ahead with the motions. So this should actually kill them all, I think. Yeah, there you go. Well, this one dies now, so we're fine. And I level up uh, Cricket over here. Simple, oops. So let's go back to this town here, if we can. Primitive attack. Okay, that's fine. And then we can just go on. These are easier to kill. I'm sure that actually these two can. Okay, never mind. We got to go ahead at least because we have primitive attack. So let's check. Let's go back in this town if anything changes since we clear that little area. Uh, Elden Sea. I guess nothing actually changes here in terms of what I need to actually do. Maybe this town is not, not useful because we already got the uh, boat. So let's check back here. Um, and hopefully this doesn't take too long to actually proceed with the story of the game because for most uh, amateurs and people that start playing these games for the first time, first playthroughs, it's essentially non-existent your awareness of where everything is. Like you just gotta go with the motions or if I really wanted to, I can always just check like a map of where I should go, but that's not, you know, exciting to me, just to know where everything is. I'd rather go through the motions. I'm actually surprised I actually killed them all. Um, I was kind of skeptical that they would do no damage. I'm actually not sure if I can even bring the boat all the way over here. Um, so... Also, let me know if all these battles are too much, or should I just skip through some of these battles? and just go through the story itself because this is all part of the game right you can't skip this these areas per se but it, you know, it gives some xp it's not like it's a waste a total waste of time at least 
I can go under the bridge. I didn't even notice that. So I can already tell you that this is a little annoying. I'm trying to stay optimistic. But I'm being a little pessimistic right now because it's taking a little too long. Just to get to my surroundings, which is wherever I need to go next. Because I'm not sure where to go at all. Can't complain though with the XP and thankfully these guys don't hit like trucks anymore like they used to. This should clear out all of it. There you go. Perfect. They're leveling up a little bit throughout the- Okay, I can go to a new spot here. This is perfect. So let's just check our surroundings. So there's a little area up there that we went to. We can go right. I'm, I will go up though because you never know. I think there's a town up there. Oh, ambushed. Lovely. Alright, so let's just attack these. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure we fought these before, so they shouldn't be too hard. Like, we can take them out easily. Yeah, very easily. So those, like, you can tell these areas are beginning areas because of the mobs. Okay, there is an area here we can go to. Oops, I didn't mean to go in, actually. So what I'm going to do quickly is save. Because uh, I don't think we can do a quick, uh, we only can do quick saves, but just to double check. Yeah, I see. Okay, let's check what's in this area. There's a broom. Talking broom, front, forwards, backwards, any way you see such a strange spell to switch with our... Interesting. Thump, ouch. Switch. My eye, my eye. Ouch. I can't see a blasted thing without my crystal eye. Who could have stolen from me? Okay, just double checking something. Did we not grab a crystal eye? Oh my god, this game actually makes too much sense now. Here you go. Oh, what's this? My crystal eye? Give it here. Don't worry, I have something to give you in exchange. Take this potion. It's the most amazing potion in my entire collection. Jolt Tonic. What does that do? Oh, the concoction. You think it's for the person. I can see. I can see again. Oh my gosh, you're still here. I don't need anything. Go away. You'll be... Not as attractive as I thought you'd be. Rude. Oh my god, wait. That's huge. Can I open these chests? Heck yeah, I can. Got some potions and antidote. Wow, that's actually huge. Now let's go back to the area. I like how they mark on your map where you've been. It's a huge group of guys. I will take them all out because... I probably, you know, get probably little to nothing XP for this, but... You know, just because it's actually a good use of fire right here, so going manually through all the attacks. I can't say no to it. Opportunity. And they took them all off. Sweet. Well, that's actually a lot of XP. 300? Um, I'm gonna see actually if I can go all the way over here without taking the boat. Maybe there's some like new new stuff, areas to encounter. Um, simply just because it's... I think in this game, like it's probably important to understand where everything is. And I got kind of lucky going to that area because I actually did not know I had, to, I had to go there. So it's pretty nice for me to know that you know, I went the right area instead of roaming around too long before figuring out that I don't know where I'm going. Uh, so let's check if continuing here would... Okay. Lizard. Does it do a lot of damage this thing? Okay. So first time I saw one. I've seen one. Okay, looks like I can go here without having to use the boat. Um, but the funny thing is, actually, I don't have to come here. Why is my mind so f fragile with knowing where to go? I always forget where to go. Since I'm here, let's just heal up quickly. Um, it's cheaper to do this than... Use cure, cure, or whatever. And I'm just going to double check one thing. I want to see, actually, if my magic goes up. Okay. So your magic does go up when you use that. Okay. So I actually have to go back to grab the boat, because we need to go, I believe, here. That would make the most sense. Yeah, it's a city with a area to um, where the king is or something like that. I think all these should be attacks. I'm sure we can take them all on here, actually. Yeah, exactly. So my guys are getting nice and strong, which is really good. I think that's important for any JRPG, RPG, any type of RPGs, really, just because... You know how it is, sometimes you can go through an area and you don't level up or you skip battles. And essentially you'll get really um, torn apart if you don't, you know, are not prepared for the fights. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I will use magic here again. 
I think if there's like more than five, I think that's when I'll use, actually more than six, because I'm pretty sure I can take these things on without using fire out here. Like melee wise, I probably can take them all on. But since I'm going to another town that has a rest area too. If push comes to shove, I just got 180 gil. I think the other area is one, uh, 100. So it would cost me nothing really, just 100 gil and I'm making more than 100 gil in some of these fights so it won't be anything to sweat about to know I have to go back and essentially get more gil. Like 100 gil there, that's my my money for the, just for the, uh, for the sleep. Again here, 6, I think I could have, since I'm going to a spot where I can heal, I think Gaze actually freezes me in place, like stone. Petrified me in place. Okay, so so far so good in terms of these fights. Like, I think leveling up. Oh, okay, so he got petrified. So it's just for, it's just um statistic, uh, static sorry, statistics. There's static in place, so he can't attack. All right, cool. And in fights, is, sorry, in fights, does he seem okay? All right, almost there. All right, I can. So I need to be more strategic with these fights. I think because these guys are a little bit more uh, easier to kill, I want to take on the ogre, uh, ogres first because ogres do most has less health, and essentially these guys do a lot more health. Uh, sorry, the chief would do more damage. So this one should be down now. Soon. Hopefully this kills it actually. No, because my guy does more damage. This should do it, I think. I mean, I'm not sure actually how much health this has, but you can see that these guys do no, little to no damage with attacks, but... So my guy took... Okay, see? My main guy doesn't take too much hits from that. Still takes... Still takes same damage there, more than really before. I think that's a crit, actually, when you see those... Like, um... I level up. So more health. Agility's up, stamina, and intellect. Alright, so I have to go around. So I'm gonna do this so I avoid any fights, and then go out and go up. And I th think this should work. If not, I'll be uh, sad, because I thought this would be what we need. Oh, he seems ecstatic. This jolt tonic. Maybe we will choose to break the curse and awaken the prince. I'll try it at once. Your Highness, Your Highness. I have, um, I was having a terrible nightmare. Am I still dreaming? You, you're a legendary warrior. Something tells me I'm not dreaming. I shall heed the legend as it was told to me and my forefathers. The time for me to pass on a mystic key is to righteous owner, to rightful owners has last come. Has come at last. All right, so I know where we're supposed to go with that, which is the bottom of uh, the cave again, which Thank you, dear princess. Finally woken. You have my underlying gratitude. You're broken the peace back to Elfheim. Okay. I'm awake and strong, all because of you. Thank you. I'm gonna double check and see if we can use that key anywhere here. Uh, there is an area that I can go to, but clearly I have no clue how to get to that area without leaving the system. Sorry, sorry. So, like, if I go here just a little bit, let me see if this works. Because it's super fidgety. If I get too far away. Mystic hammer. 800 grill. 700 grill. Bronze gloves. Why did I not check here before? Um, To be honest, my guy is really strong. It's more for these guys. Um, Copper amul armlet. Sorry. Actually, copper armlet is better in this case. Because it still gives me the same defense. But more evasion. Which... Better than having less evasion. Oops. Alright, so I guess this guy can't use anything else here. Shields, leather gloves, armlet. Okay, hammer. Mystic hammer. Mithril hammer, sorry. More attack and more accuracy. Lovely. And I mean that lovely, like this is huge. And then I got something else. Bronze gloves, okay. Huge, huge, huge. Treasure room has been secured with the Mystic Key. Oh, I see. Without the Mystic Key, that would have been impossible. So actually, before I continue, what I'm going to do is buy something over here. 
more antidotes, because that place is infested with poisonous creatures. And I've learned my lesson. So I'm going to buy another 10. I think I had a... Actually, I'm going to buy 15. Why not? Um, Phoenix down. I'm going to buy two more. Now I have five. Uh, I'll leave that as is. Fully restores the party's MP and uh, HP. I already have one of them, actually. I might uh, get one of these, though. I'll get, I'll get three. And then before leaving, I'm going to heal up. I was thinking about getting more spells, but I think if I go to a new town... That new town will provide me with more uh, varieties of spells. Stronger spells. I know I shouldn't do this, but it's only for 100 gil. I can't really go wrong with 100 gil. To use to heal up my party and my MP. Alright. So moving forward here, we want to go here and just hit with a quick save once we leave the field of uh, the town, I guess. So we'll do that quickly. Cool. So now we have to go back down here. So let's do that quickly. So I'm hoping you guys, I don't know if you guys have played this Pixel remaster, I hope, I think some people weren't happy with the remaster from, I, some people, but like, I would read some articles, but I think people had higher expectations for this game, but for someone that never played the original game, I can't really make the difference, uh, tell the difference, sorry. It still looks really nice, I mean, visually it's not going to be the most pleasing thing to the eyes. It was a game dated back and before I was born, maybe. So I can't really go wrong with that of a game that looks nice and that they actually took some time to make some graphical updates. I mean, it's really nice, they didn't have to do anything like that at all. So I'm assuming uh, Chico has the most speed now out of the group. And they're a lot stronger. Cricket does take a lot, has less health out of the team. So I'm just thinking out loud, I think I can go up here first because I think there's an area I can go to uh, to use to mix the key. Uh, preemptive attack. Okay, that's fine. So I'm gonna go quickly check that out and see if I can actually do anything with the key here. I think I can. I'm pretty sure I recall being a spot here um, that uses it. And now that I have a, mis a mithril hammer, I do a lot more damage. Level ups. More agility, that's fine. And this one gets stamina and agility. Okay, sweet. So I can go here. I could have sworn I saw a simple area to use it. I still find it kind of funny that these bats are like if you can interact with them. It's pretty interesting for a game like that. So let me see if my mind is playing tricks on I me. Mean, I haven't played in a couple of days because I was away. Pretty sure I can use it here, yeah. Oh, okay. You got me, game. Wraths. Wraiths, not wraps. How much damage they do? Of course they stick, freeze me in place. Oh man, that's the last person I actually wanted to freeze. Oh, they freeze both of them in place. So surprisingly enough, they actually do quite a bit of damage, so I'm going to have to use some... I don't know what the heck they have on them, really. What's their alignment? I can't even tell what their alignment is. Let's see what happens if I use Thunder. And then, what I can use here, I'm going to protect... Him. Or her. Cricket is a female's name. Um, because we named her Cat Cricket. And it's a female cat. And it makes no sense to like give it to like someone that has a lot of armor. So how much damage does this do? It's probably not a lot. A lot, never mind. Oh, very much so. And I got a crop ton of experience. The chest contained Falchion? Falchion? Oh, it's a sword, okay. Equipped for a main guy, of course. That's the same as the other one. Maybe this guy can use it. Oops, Pepe. So yeah, we can give it to Pepe. Just checking the other guys. I mean, we can't go wrong with giving someone more attack. I'm gonna do a quick quick save here now. Um, after that, you never know if monsters are in all these chests. Oh boy. Fire, because last time we used fire, we did a crap ton of damage. Oh, it seems like these guys are less weak. Or more weak. What am I saying less weak for? That's huge damage, actually. This fire is coming clutch right now. Power staff. I know exactly who can use that. Um, oh my gosh. I'm pressing buttons way too many times here. So we can actually use it on this person. Can we? Yes, we can, but I think I'm going to give it to him. We do get less accuracy, but his attack does jump a lot, and I'm He's not much of an attack 
attacking person, but like if I would prefer him to attack if, if given the opportunity to attack. Again, maybe I shouldn't use um, fire right here again, just because the simplicity of attacking will kill them all and they don't seem like they do a lot of damage. I have got lied. Um, if this is the case, then I'm assuming the other place that we need to go to in the cave will have a lot of monsters. Uh, level up here. And we get steel gloves. Again, I think this was worth it. Yes, we did take a lot of hits coming down here, but I think it's worth it at the end because we want to make sure our guys don't die. Um, I guess... Okay, so he can get it. I just want to check if actually... A friend here. Okay, that's fine. So, we did get an upgrade here. Um, we'll check if this guy can use bronze. Okay. And then, we did buy a lot of items, so I'm not going to bother using spells just yet. I can use... High potion here on a friend, and I will quickly actually use a regular potion here. That should do it for now, at least, right? So let's do another quick save. Uh, that's a big uh, for me. That's a huge accomplishment. Just want to check something. So that's cleared out. Okay, to the caves we go. Um, so I'm a little bit intrigued to see how we're supposed to get out of here. Oh boy, these things are annoying, but I'm gonna attack because they, they poison. As you can tell the top my top top guy, my guy got poisoned immediately. It's unfortunate these things attack first too. They give us the chance to go first. And now my bottom person got poisoned. They're all getting poisoned just when hit. I think they're immediately poisoned when they get hit. They don't have a chance to Oh never mind. Second person Took over 50 damage for each shot, though. Um, that's why we bought a ton of antidotes. So now what we're going to do is essentially just double check on their health. Um, I'm just going to use a... Oops, I didn't even realize that the other person was actually sick. Um, and then I'll use a high potion on this person. I do have actually a bunch of ethers I could use next time. Um, when I use spells, I can replenish my mana with eth ethers. Ethers, when how you pronounce it. Here's fine. Like I think werewolf, uh, wolves in general don't poison you, so this won't actually affect me too much this battle. And as you can see, I'm missing a lot of them. I guess my evasion is a little higher since these are like more beginning enemies. As you can see, three damage to Chico really shouldn't. Okay, I keep forgetting that sometimes they have harder hits. It's good to see that they're actually doing a lot of damage, so the ones I don't usually do a lot of damage. So now I can continue moving forward, and before I do that, obviously quick save here. And then we can essentially just double check on their health. I will quickly actually use a magic here. From Chigo, use the Sakura. That should do it. Uh, da -da -da. Yeah, that should do it. Alright. Let's try and remember how this one it was. There was top and there was bottom. I think we should go to the bottom. Now, my memory might be bad. It might be actually top, but I know bottom. There's a few things that we can use with the chest. Here, I'll kill them because I think we actually could take them on. Um, good. Just wondering what well, oh, my guy's probably speed is a little low compared to everyone else's speed. Uh, rightly so. Warriors usually have a lot more armor, I guess. Uh, just quickly re remembering here, we got all that. It's just down there. Just, just checking. Okay. Another fight. Green slimes. Yep. I remember what to do here. I think we should run for a lot of these battles now. We leveled up quite a bit since we last came here. So just run. Oops. Okay, we're good. Preemptive attack. Here I'll fight. Um, make sure I don't forget to actually mess up there. Oh, that's really good, actually. The fact that we kill them from... Oh, not right place, sorry. The fact that we kill them with just all four of us without having to kind of go through another um, cycle. It's really good. So can we kill them here? Oh, that's huge, actually. That's actually really nice that they have both avoided it. I guess that one takes more hits. The skeleton died. Um, so far, so good. 
hitting the wrong keybind. So I'm pretty sure there's actually something here. I will not care for that right now because I will try to... I will try to just get to the main area, which is the bottom portion. I'm pretty sure each of those chests will contain a monster for the most part. Especially those that look like they're like in between like uh, stones, if I recall correctly. Gargoyles. I think they'll attack first, so they didn't give me a preemptive attack, and I'm pretty sure my guys are really slow. I don't know why, they're, they're, they look slow when they... Well, not they look slow, but they, they are slow. So we'll see. Because I'm not sure why we don't go first in some of these fights, especially now that we're low level. So we can quickly just, uh, again, fat fingering the wrong button. So we can go here. I find it funny there's like a forget button. Why would I want to forget a spell? For now, at least I don't really recall why. Um, just one more. Werewolves. Or wargwolf. These are like the, f the best things I can encounter down here, I think. I think the wargwolves actually get um, heal up over time and poison. I did level up there. Keep hitting the wrong button. And then we have all these antidotes for this reason and well, only reason yeah I'm gonna quick save <laughs> I don't know what that thing does it just seems friendly though never mind preemptive attack I mean I guess we go first right so hopefully this doesn't take us too long we did kill one fairly quickly we did kill second one so this one should kill too wow Trigger took a hit and leveled up. Nothing out of it. It's like you just get uh, experience, which is not a bad thing, but I just don't see the, the use if we don't get anything out of it, too. Alright. Monster. Monsters. Alright, I'm going to use a fire right here. Uh, it seems like a perfect time. These all will poison me. I'm assuming they will poison me. Again, unfortunately, they get to go first. Might not be actually necessary, seeing that we actually killed him quite quick, quickly here. But nonetheless, this should kill him. I might be wrong. There we go. And what do we get? Silver armlet. This is actually pretty good. I got another achievement bomb right there. We got two achievements this uh, this playthrough actually. Well, this uh, recording. Uh, what I'm gonna do quickly is actually do this, and then I'm gonna. I have a few items I can give my guys. So I'm quickly do is find the ether. Give it to him. Cricket, sorry, I keep saying him. Equip the armlets. I'm just checking if actually any of the other guys, because my main guy is just really strong compared to the others. Because um, he has the stronger items. So. You can see the defense increases drastically, so I'm actually going to go to Cricket because he takes a lot more hits. Uh, he takes a beating out there compared to the others. I don't know why this... I just realized this theme song reminds me of um, Kingdom Hearts. I don't know where in Kingdom Hearts, the first one at least. It sounds so familiar. I don't know why. So that's done. To the next place. And all these other battles along the way, but, which is fine. Again, I'm gonna level up. I, I, the fact that I got that item is more so good. Sorry, I'm lagging a little bit, as you can tell. You can hear the song in the background, but you don't. Okay, there we go. So let's continue moving forward here. This should open up. We should get another boss here, maybe. Don't know if we'll get another boss. We flee, which is nice. We fled, which is very nice. I didn't want to get being up there. Monsters. I guess I have to keep expecting monsters from now on in this fights. Because it seems like they're all gonna be in these areas. Um, at least the bottom portion of the of this room. Hopefully we can kill actually two of them before they start attacking. Perfect. And then we get to go again. And they attack well at least they talk to me once. And by me I mean like Mr. Fire. Because he takes a lot of hits. Just contain antidote. Not worth. At least that one is not worth. And then we can use cure. 
Uh, I know we have no more cure for her. For Cricket. For Chico, sorry. But it's fine. I think it's all, like, it's about agility or something, isn't it? To go first? I'm not sure. Because we take hits so damn hard. I guess that's a, that's a dud. A fake. I should check like uh, my technique to check like the caves when I press Q. When I'm in like a cave, or not in a cave, but like through a door, kind of gives you a clear peek of what's uh, in the other's area. That's fine. My mistake. All right, now what I'm gonna do is quickly use Cura here because I have nothing else in terms of spells to heal. Seems like a usable spell here though because we're all low in health. I can attack these, so we're fine. They're, they're really weak. I didn't get poisoned there, which is nice. Leveled up. I'm gonna quickly save here. Uh, you can spec something to be in there, and I don't wanna you know without healing up first. Let's use a potion on him, and then high potion on myself here. Okay, monsters, let's go. Oh, these are not that bad, actually. I was expecting worse. Except they go first. We don't get preempted, but we did heal before the fight, so we should be okay for the most part. Um, hopefully. Let's see. Chico took a hit there. Miss. That's not good. I think that's down. It's down. That's not good. Well, it's dead, but it's unfortunate. Do we get like, a key item here? All that just to die. Okay. Because Phoenix Downs do cost you an arm and a leg, and you don't get full health. Uh, these are meant to be used, so I'm not too heartbroken using them here. And I think I have magic one more time here. Well, more than one more time. Two more times. And we can just leave it like that for now. Another quick save. Why not? So if you check Q here, there's actually one chest, I believe, if I recall correctly, it's all the way up here that I missed. Other than that, I got everything else. Um, so what I'm going to do is when I go back up to the, to the caves, I'm going to have to actually go check the uh, top half of it. See if there's anything there. Actually, one second. I just noticed something. Okay, I see. So you, sorry, I was just checking the chest, and so there's one chest. I don't remember what's in the top half of this of the when I go up the stairs. I don't recall what it's up there. To my understanding, it could be nothing. I don't remember. So now they have the mystic key. Where else can I go with that? I didn't get any items, unfortunately, that I thought would pur uh, pursue my adventures, continue me going forward. So I need to double check on that, really, because I don't recall. I think gosh we're getting bolts now. Oh, well, at least for now. It could be in anything that can make it worse. I think there's scorpions still around here, I don't remember. I don't see them by any means, but we'll see where they are. Uh sorry. Okay, just double checking we're in the top half. Okay, we're good here. Now we got all the chests, now we can get the heck out of this area. I'm um, not sure what's in the other top half. If, if we can't find anything top half wise, we'll just continue moving forward with this and I can safely say we're done with this cave once we get everything. Um, at least to my understanding, that's all that's down here. I'm not sure if there's actually another reason to come down here since we used the Mystic Key. I'm trying to think where else we could have used that. I'm not sure, I don't recall the beginning parts to use it. Yeah, I don't know. This game, you do counter, you do go through a lot of fights. I must find, I must say, sorry, it's um, not annoying, but especially if you're trying to get out of an area, that's what can become a little annoying because now you're trying to like, it's like you're if you're low on health and low on whatever items, it's not a good place to be, especially now. Uh, just checking again here, just anything. There's just one area we can go to. Preemptive strike, my favorite, and there's only two enemies. It always seems like it's only a black tarantula, a black widow, and a tarantula when they're when we find them. So we just go up here, a little run there before getting encounters, only for two werewolves. 
Don't give me. Okay, I was gonna say, don't. I don't get poison from that. That'd be ridiculous. Be too unfortunate. And there's only one more area we can actually go to. That's actually only area I can think of, at least, um, that has anything else. I'm not sure if there is actually, um, but we'll see. I can't complain too much. We're getting XP. We're getting gil. I'm gonna be buying a lot more items afterwards. Which I don't know how much we'll get of what, but this game is clear to me that you'll need a lot more like items than I have used in previous Final Fantasy games. Final Fantasy VII Remake, I would rarely use any items. Rarely. And when I did, it was just because I was like playing hard mode or something. Or actually, no, even in hard mode, you couldn't use your items. I remember that. That was actually really smart of them to do that. It can't made it difficult. Not only were the enemies difficult, but the way you played the game became different. Darn it, I don't actually remember. Okay, let me double check. Okay, actually no use down here. Or up here, or down here, I don't know. Okay, that's fine. Well, it's okay. Now that I know, it's clear that uh, there's no use here for me. And then after where would we have to find another place. Trying to figure out what's in the next area for us to go. We did, the prince is now clear. We had to figure out where in this game would they want us to go with the mystic key. We used it recently in two different areas, but other than that, I'm trying to think what to, what area do we need to go. We do have that map which indicates like chests and items in the game, which is a really good thing because it allows us to see what we missed. And that one thing that we missed could be actually you know, beneficial. So we're out finally. I'm going to quickly save before I hit the map. Um, never know if anything like here can freeze up on you. Did not mean to go back in. Alright, so what do we have here now? So we have current location of ship, Castle Cornea. There's chests in there, I admit. Cornea itself, there's nothing. Chaos Shrine, there's apparently 13 chests I missed. You went to the cave. You went there. Where else can we go now? Elven Castle, we got everything. Here, there's nothing to grab anyways. Western Keep, there's nothing else to grab. And then we went here. So we kind of cleared up everything here, right? And I don't think we actually can go up here. So I'm actually trying to see what else we can go. It seems like there's actually a little area here we can go. And I tried to go through here, but it seems like I can't fit in there yet. I'll try one more time, but afterwards I'll just go here. Um, actually, I'm just checking. There's actually a little area here. Okay, I'll um, go over there and check and then stop the video. Because I like to do 30 minutes or so, but I see that the video is going a little longer than I wanted to. But fairly so, because we had to... We, we did progress. You know, we got the Mystic Key. It was a main story quest line in the game. That's hard to say. But we did get a good amount of armor and weapons to increase your guys stats and make them stronger and I can't you can't go wrong making your guys stronger in this game especially now given that I went down to the caves and I could literally level up a few times down there if I really wanted to before proceeding but to be honest I think they're kind of a little over leveled I think but not but actually no I'll take that back we we got through a, we had a wipe with Pepe I do wish they have stronger, or stronger, better armor, because they take a lot of hits, man. They they take so much beatings. Chico increased stamina, agility. I think agility is what makes them go faster, right? It makes sense. It's kind of like the word self agility. Think agility, think swiftness, quick. So I just want to level them, not level them, but get them stronger. Because I'm going to go back to the spot, the bottom right. I will sleep to get my my everything reject, uh, way back up or max and then we should be good to go to proceed to the next um, adventures so we'll see how this goes i know that this has been a good like little progressions like this i know it's good i'm not sure how long these games usually last i can imagine the last few few hours if you know the ins and outs there's so many different like play styles these days that you can actually just completely go through everything and master the whole game and speed run it really so anyways guys i will stop the video here um, I do appreciate the time 
taking to watch my videos. Let me know if this is okay, this kind of style, but I yeah, appreciate it, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, take care and stay safe. Bye.